I literally bought everything over $500. Did I waste my money? Let's find out. I'm a little nervous. I was a little nervous. Well, first impressions. I feel like the branding's really cute, but it feels... I don't want Kylie Jenner to like come for me. So yeah, I just got these in the mail. I ordered all this stuff. I spent like over $500 and then I've been seeing all these TikToks of people complaining about the quality of the bathing suits. So I tried Kylie Swim In. It's see-through, it's paper thin, it's not good material. Don't even get me started on the quality of this one piece. First of all, the seams are like, I, yeah, it's a no for me. It's ripping. No, a two out of 10. So I think I might've wasted $500, but we're gonna find out. I feel like these baggies could have been like higher quality, if that makes sense. I'm not gonna name other companies, but I've definitely seen like, you know, brands use this type of packaging i went through it to get these swimsuits you don't even know can i just say i do think kylie jenner and all the kardashian jenner family are all such amazing entrepreneurs okay but i do find it so weird that she decided to drop this at the end of summer well it's pretty much fall now so i'm kind of confused like what she was thinking with that you would think that she would drop this at the end of spring or beginning of summer but she was like nope end of summer so i'm confused like why she did that. I really hope I don't come across as like super harsh, but I just wanna give you the facts. I don't wanna be capping out here. I literally bought all the bathing suits except one, but I did order that one, but it just didn't come in the mail. It's still in transit, but I'm like, I need to get this video up for you guys. ASAP Rocky. Another thing that I thought was weird on the website, the size range is not good. I think it's small to extra large. I feel like she would have like taken notes from Kim. Her size range is like extra, extra small to 2XL, I believe, don't quote me on that, but I'm surprised that she didn't have a bigger size range for her bathing suits. So that was like a little disappointing. Kylie, Chris, don't come for me, please. I'm sensitive. <laughs> okay, so I'll show you guys what I ended up ordering. I'll try it on right after I show you guys. Oh man, where do we even start? A lot of these are sold out, but I literally went to war to get these. <laughs> First one is this orange one piece. This is also my like first impression. This one's called the Kylie one and this is $85, which at first I was like, okay, I feel like that's a reasonable price because it's probably like super high quality. It honestly does not feel high quality. Okay, oh. Oh my god, I'm gonna take a picture, but yikes! I don't know, the there's like string hanging out of it, like the seam. First impression for sure, this is definitely very thin material. I got a size medium. I really like the design of it. I think it's super cute, and the color is beautiful. Well, this is the first one. My boob's definitely trying to make an appearance. Um, it is kind of see-through. Probably should have sized up on this one. If you guys are gonna order from this, definitely size up, like, for sure. Also ignore my spray tan, and I'm also bloating right now because I'm on my period, so love that. Shout out to my cycle sisters. This is what the back looks like. I really love this part. I love how it cuts out right here. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, this one is a two-piece, and this one is called... What in the hell? They're actually sold separately. This is the triangle red bikini top, and it's $40. And then we have the triangle red bikini bottom, which looks like this. I wish you guys could, like, feel it, but it's so thin. Very... This material is very thin. This one's probably my favorite out of all of them so far. Surprisingly, I didn't think this one was going to be one of my favorites. I love how the bottoms are adjustable. I really appreciate that. I love that. I don't see a lot of bathing suits that do that, so definitely probably wouldn't like actually wear this, maybe just for an Instagram. I don't want to get demonetized, but that's what the butt looks like. I think this one is probably the most flattering out of all of them so far. And the top, I feel like, is very supportive. Probably would have sized up, but this one isn't see-through, which... 
Thank goodness. Thank you, Kylie. I don't think this is that bad. The bottoms are very thongy. I don't think this one's that bad. I feel like for an Instagram, this would be cute. <laughs> up kind of scared of this one because um it literally looks like dental floss i was a little nervous <laughs> like where i what how do i even who is she yeah what this one is called the august this was $80. Oh man, something is definitely popping out. I might have to blur something because this is a lot. Like, where does my nipple go? My nipple is going to be like, hello. I literally can't even show you guys this one, which is super disappointing. I would show you these on, but I literally can't because they are just not it. Um, I literally, like, if I move a centimeter... Not even a centimeter, like 0.5 of a centimeter, something's gonna pop out. So I definitely don't feel comfortable showing this one, which sucks. This definitely is just for an Instagram picture. Not even, I can't even like, I can show you guys the bottom. Well, I love the color, it's super pretty, but no. I do not feel confident in this at all. Um, I just don't know how this like, it's like dental floss. <laughs> I'm so excited about this one. This is the one that she posted on Instagram of her wearing. This one's called the Caicos one and it's $80. I got a size medium in this as well. This seems like it's gonna be so hard to like figure out how to put it on. What in the fuck? Let's just try this one on because this is like so confusing. Okay guys, I had to put on nipple concealers because it's see-through. I put it on and I did not feel good about myself to be completely real. I don't know, I feel like it just like protrudes right here a lot because it's too tight right there. The color is definitely really cute, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm not really uh, vibing with this one. <laughs> I just don't want anything to pop out, you know? I definitely feel like this one is more of like just for Instagram pictures and then like take it off right after. This is what this one looks like. Not really helping me out there. <laughs> I do like the color and the neckline is really pretty. I don't know. I feel like I like can't move comfortably in this without my boob popping out, you know? Can we just take a moment? <laughs> well, I'm glad that's over with, to be completely honest. I... Final thoughts. Um, I definitely don't feel comfortable wearing those swimsuits. Definitely should have sized up. So if you're gonna order from this brand, definitely size up because they are very small. I'm not trying to be harsh at all. I just wanna be completely honest, but I feel like they are definitely see-through. Like bottoms of some of them are see-through and you can definitely like see down there, which doesn't feel great if you're like out in public. The branding is super cute. Um, I really hope, I don't know. I'm just so confused. It's honestly super disappointing. Like I don't no. I do want to keep in mind that this is a new brand and hopefully they evolve and their second drop is a lot better and better quality um, and definitely like more swimsuit options for people with different body types and a better size range. Out of all of them, I do like the two-piece one. I think if I got a bigger size than that, I would actually wear that swimsuit. All the other ones, I honestly wouldn't wear them. I feel like the designs in these bathing suits are strictly just for Instagram pictures like I don't think I would actually wear these out because if I moved like a centimeter something would pop out and even if I got a bigger size it would still like I not I wouldn't be able to like move around that much so I do feel like these are strictly only for like Instagram pictures if that and I'll be honest like I have some bathing suits that I own that were strictly just for Instagram pictures thirst traps like this one strictly just bought that just for the Instagram not to like actually wear out because it's very like revealing and stuff and something's gonna end up popping out I hope this brand evolves more and they come out with a whole bunch of new designs because this was like a little disappointing and I definitely didn't feel confident and most of them, which is really depressing. Um, hate that. <laughs> if they come out with a second drop, I definitely want to try them out again and make a video and see if it got better and the quality and all that. I feel like this wasn't even like that great of a review because everything just felt like it was popping out and it just felt like I was wearing dental floss on my body. But I hope you guys got some entertainment out of it. Not a fan, to be completely honest. Um, yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching me embarrass myself. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and let me know if you guys want me to do a part two to this whenever she comes out with a second drop, if she does. I love you guys so much. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! <laughs>
was a little nervous. 